my name is Rapsley. Welcome back to Slay the Spine. We're going to be playing the Defect in Ascension 19. All right, another try. Yes, that sounds good to me. Uh, upgrade card, random common relic. Those are our two obvious options here. Ooh, there's a three elite path if I really want to go from early. Ooh, there's a four elite path if I really want to go from early. All right. I'm going to upgrade the zap. I'm looking for like an early copy of... Well, I don't want to go to all the question marks if I'm going for elites, right? Because we spoke about this literally last time. Uh, in that... If I'm going for early elites, I should probably go for normal combat so that I can try and get card rewards. So that I can try and fish for card rewards that can help me through those fights. Ooh, do I take a claw and try and start ramping up? Or do I just take the ball out and get extra damage in the other game? Claw would be like the build we would go for, but ball damage would just be so that I can get... Eh, I'll get for the ball. Uh, would just be so that I can deal enough damage. Oh, great. Very happy that I had that there. It was just enough to kill the frontliner. But the... Yeah, ball lightning would literally just be to help me through the elites. So I don't want to take cool-headed early, especially because fighting four elites, it's very likely that we end up fighting a gremlin knob, and also kind of likely that I end up fighting two of them. Uh, so... Ooh, yeah, I can do that. Right. Yeah, just dodge the early shop as well. Because I'm going to have a shop in a couple spaces time as well. I was saying something there. Oh, right, yeah, Gremlin Knob. The, that, that is not a particularly good card in the Gremlin Knob fight. Just gets you a Frost Orb and enrages the enemy, so it offsets its own cost immediately. Well, Sunder and Streamline and Ball Lightning, like, literally all of these are excellent choices for what we're currently trying to do uh, with the Elites. So, Streamline is better against Lagavulin. Ball Lightning is better against... No one. Ball Lightning is not the best of these against anyone. Well, with two ball lightnings in the deck, right? Think deal seven damage, evoke one lightning, right? Because I probably already have a full complement of lightning orbs. So seven damage, eight damage, it's 15 for one. Um, Sunder is really, really good if I go up against the Sentinels, though. And it's pretty good against the Gremlin Knob. Sure. Should set us up for a pretty good split, actually. Ooh. Lovely. That's a lot of incoming damage. So I can defend for 15, or I can Sunder, and then there's only a 12.5% chance that I take damage from that Acid Slime anymore. So this defends me against 15. The Sunder play defends me against... 12, but kills an enemy. Actually, gonna be fine, right? I deal 9 damage at the end of this turn. And then I've got those other two ball lightnings left in the deck, so I, I don't need to front load my damage here. I'll, I should be okay with it. Yeah. Comfy. Auto shields is pretty good. Like a large amount of block for a single card played. Yeah. That's exactly what we're gonna want here. Alright, so I'll use Sunder to instantly kill one of the targets that has the highest output of damage. I have to take 10 this turn, but that was still really good. Okay. And... Yeah, I guess I'm just fine now. Neat. It's elite number one down. Charge back. Wait, is it elite number one down? Oh, that's not elite number one down. Mm. Static discharge is a lot of damage, but charge battery is also really powerful early. Get the static discharge just to help us through the early elite combats. That's awful. Static discharge zap. Eh. get the static discharge up this turn. Very much hoping I draw auto shields this turn. I don't need to play Sunder in this combat. I go aggressive. Uh, I, sorry, I go defensive. 
those lightnings, they'll do all of that for me already. I don't need to focus on that too much myself. Alright. Pretty easy kill here. Problem we're going to run into is loss of HP. Bottle Tornado upon a pickup. She's use a power card. Sorry, did you combo up with that anyway? But it can. Do we have a power card in here? We do. Static Discharge. That's not great, though. Let's take Equilibrium as a single large defense. Do I want to go ham for it and try and go for the extra elite there? Or do I want to peel out in this direction? Like, literally, this deck doesn't have an identity. Like, the whole point of this deck right now is just killing elites. And if I don't kill elites, what the hell am I even doing with it? I'm happy you're risking it. Apotheosis, pre up. I mean, it's not pre upgraded, but. Ooh, it's a good pick. Okay, let's attack potion. Really needed that out there. Hey, auto shields. Okay, do I let the enemy attack? No, I shouldn't let the enemy attack me, right? No, I do it. I do it. I let the enemy deal damage to me here so that I can generate those two extra lightning orbs. I need to front load a lot of damage here to save myself. One HP remaining. We do have <laughs> another combat before we get a rest, so we're probably dead. That's okay, though. I knew the risks when I took them. Preserved Insect. Enemies in elite combats have 25% less HP. Uh, chill. Okay. Anchor started his combat with 10 block. All right. Um... It's just straight up suicide to fight any elite at this point, right? It is. <laughs> well, this is not much better. Ooh, Apotheosis obviously. I mean, I can't play Static Discharge because if Static Discharge ever triggers, I've died. But next turn is going to be an incoming, what, three, three this is 24. Oh no, these guys are doing four damage now. Ooh, la -dee da Look at you with your fancy, fancy upgrade. Smart about the backliners. We're somehow still alive. Ooh, we're not even going to be weakened. Thunder and ball lightning zap. I mean, hell yeah, we actually got through that combat. Creative AI. Um, I'll take it just so the deck has an identity of some kind. I want to go for the extra elite with the preserved insect. Okay, that's really good. I play Equilibrium this turn, not Static Discharge. Ideally, next turn I get Apotheosis. I play that before the Static Discharge. Yeah. That was really good. I can get Creative AI out next turn, possibly. Or I could wake up the enemy with Sunder and uh, Dual Cast. So next turn I'd be able to double defend. Yeah, it's Sunder Dual Cast then. Sweet. I only take two damage this turn, but I generate two lightning. And Sunder. Sweet. That was a really good fight for us. Ancient T-Set, whenever you want to rest site, start the next combat with two extra energy. Drop that and take the speed potions. That's going to be able to ace me through that boss fight. No, I'll have enough damage in the deck. I don't need to force myself to get another lightning wall by not defending entirely against the enemy there. I'll strike this turn because I'm playing Apotheosis next turn and that'll make the dual cost cost zero. So there's no reason to play it there. By Luda, low two. Nice, yep. 
Sundial, every three times you shove your draw pile, gain two energy. So I'm thinking that we are going to be fine for this slime fight, right? Specifically because I'm going to be using Speed Potion, Ancient Potion if I'm in any sort of danger. Apotheosis needs an upgrade. I mean, look, so the first, like, maybe five floors. Yeah, the first five floors, I'm pretty sure it is, of any act cannot be rests. That is to say, cannot be bonfires. And for that reason, it would have been a long time until I could upgrade my apotheosis. So very glad to just get that out of the way now. I'll only worry about doing the speed potion, ancient potion, if it's directly immediately relevant. Yep, directly immediately really relevant. Good to see. Ooh! Myself an extra lightning even. Love it. Let's get that creative AI out as well. Another creative AI is probably too much. But also, literally, I only get to play a strike this time. Well, strike double slime. I want to get the extra creative AI specifically for the possibility that next turn I pick up a buffer. No, we got electrodynamics in storm. Electrodynamics is really good in this deck. Great. Okay, enemy gets split at the end of this turn, so no matter what I do... Keep that in mind. So Electrodynamics is going to make it much easier for me to deal with these. There's a buffer. Beautiful. That's exactly what I was looking for. Alright, we're good. Or we almost certainly should be. Yeah. Zap Sunder. So 15, 15, 39. Yeah, that's exactly enough to kill the backliner. And then I take no damage. Individual hit on me. Uh, buffer protects me. And then it is... Woohoo! Another buffer as well. It doesn't matter what I do at this point. The enemy is dead. Unless I cannot evoke a single orb this turn. Got him. So we definitely played a really, really risky floor there. But we got an Apotheosis. Creative AI as a win condition. Static of Shells probably needs to get out of the deck at this point. Uh, chill, Glacier, and Auto Shields providing us a ridiculous amount of defense. And a really good set of relics as well. I mean, we're in a pretty good position. Uh, buffer versus... Core Surge. Those are the only two in contention here. It's, it's probably Buffer. And when I say probably, I mean definitely. And when I say definitely, I mean it's Buffer. Uh, as, as much as I want the, the Plasma for the no downside, it will cycle out really quickly because we have Chill, Glacier, obviously Static Discharge, Ball Lightning, Zap. I mean, all of these are going to move that Plasma Orb out much earlier than I would otherwise like. So I'll take the Cursed Key for the extra energy here. Really glad that I got the extra energy. So, uh, yeah. What, 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 what would it be? Probably about 20 episodes since I've, like, gone on significantly long rant about the fact that I cannot get access to an energy rally for the life of me. It seems like my luck has turned. Uh, there's a path with three elites, three upgrades, and an early shop. Pretty into that. Thank this charge. Equilibrium holds auto shields for the next turn. Neat. <laughs> awesome. I would love to create a AI here, but I'd also love not to. So if I'm playing buffer, I don't play anything else here, right? Because like chill defend gets me seven block and then the first hit still removes my buffer. So it doesn't make any difference to me. Yeah, I could have gotten more defense on that turn. I should have done so. Second equilibrium is too much. Even if the deck already has a fourth energy. Ritual dagger. No. No. We're mostly going to be killing with orbs. That also just gives me 50 more gold before I go to the shop. 
Regal Pillow, whenever you rest heal additional 15 HP, that's actually really significant. I'll rest likely before I go to that elite, just because I'm missing a lot of HP here. Uh, there's also a self-repair on sale, so I actually probably take both of those. That puts me in a really, really, really good position for survivability, right? I have a lot of defense already. I already have a lot of defense in this deck, and now I have defends that defend. This is to say the buffer. Defends that defend when I can't otherwise be defended. Stop the Sunder, because that's an instant kill. As well as. Da, 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 da. Yeah, as well as healing, should I happen to manage to take damage past the block that blocks after I can't block with my normal block. Savvy? I couldn't have been clearer. I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm actually going to hold on to the strike here. The idea being that I want to be able to deal four strikes to a target. Woo! Nice. Put him on the ground. Small amount of damage got through, but I'm a cool with it. 16, 16, 4, 20. That's not enough. Oh, or is it? Because whatever, right? 50 50, the lightning kills it, otherwise, I'm already blocked. Essence of steel, as well as a bunch of stuff I don't want. Oh, yeah, I'll do the reading a bit here. I was just thinking, I don't. I'm not missing enough HP to bother uh, using the rest as a rest uh but now i will because i'm definitely going to be taking the entirety of this and caridian at the start of each combat add a round power card to your hand it goes zero for the combat neat that turn go zero that turn there heal all the way back up to 60. Ooh, how efficient oh that's a defragment oh that's a not good oh dear uh let's have a look at what we can get from a power potion because this could be a really really dangerous combat for us if we don't get an electrodynamics or something that allows me to deal some AOE damage here. Backliner dies before it even gets its attack out. Sweet. Pen never ever attempt attack you bleed all double damage, as well as capacitor, 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 capacitor. I am so glad that I saw that. I don't always get orb slots, but when I do, mm, then things can get real nutty. Emotion chip. If you lost HP during the previous turn, trigger the passive ability of all of your orbs at the start of your next turn. That's also really important because we have a regret, right? So the regret is going to deal damage to us at the moment. Uh, ooh, okay. Not super into this. So, Jax? No, I don't want the strength, right? The Special Relic? No, I don't care about the strength. So, just transform two cards. I could transform a curse, but... I, I will say this again, because every time the possibility of transforming a curse comes up, some absolute genius uh, says that I should transform the curse. And I'm not being sarcastic. That is a good point. However... Transforming a curse in this game always transforms it into another curse. So unfortunately, it doesn't actually work like that. Shame. That said, transforming regret into a different curse? I mean, you know. Maybe I get a curse that I like more than regret. Or dislike less. Uh, I probably just will go two strikes, though. Machine learning and the... Beam cell. I only really care about beam cell if. No two ways to play that turn, really. I only really care about beam cell if I have it in the same hand as Sunder. So. I don't want to put a daze in my deck right now. Just to deal 8 damage? No. You can't make me do it. Alright, this hand though. <laughs> oh, that's not what I was looking for. Well. Ow. At least I got to trigger the passive ability of all of my...
the passives of all of my orbs. Sweet. Oh, you suck. That regret is going to remove my... You know what? No, I'm not taking a bunch of damage. I could just use this to throw the regret back. So the regret would have removed my buffer and then I would have taken, you know, 11 damage to the second attack. I don't need to do that. Well, not 11. I forgot about the fact that I had the frost orbs. Sweet. Hell, let's just go straight for the kill. Mm. Yeah, I'll take a single Doom and Gloom. I'm happy with a single one. Should have ordered that otherwise. That is to say, I could have done two more damage. Like, it's not absolutely destructive. That's a lot of lightning, friend. Auto shields got invalidated by the emotion chip triggering. That's really rough. Well, at the very least, the second hit will evoke two frost orbs, which actually gave me more block during the course of my enemy's attacks. Uh, birthday stone, when we play power card, he will do HP. That is a lot of HP for us. We are now kind of comfy. I like it. A lot. Getting that creative AI up so that I can start my healing engine with the birthday stone is really important. We will play bias condition here. Ooh, I even take one damage this turn. Get myself a lightning orb and the trigger of all of the potion, uh, potions. Emotion chip. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. This is a really good combat, especially if I draw Apotheosis uh, before... One sec. Especially if I draw Apotheosis before I draw Self-Repair or in the same hand as... Let's just Equilibrium this turn so I can hold the self-repair for the next turn. This is great. Now, I literally can't take damage to the enemy at this point, right? No, I need to block once every turn in order to prevent that. Oh, no, of course. My Frost Orbs have dropped down. I don't know why I was thinking otherwise. Um, yeah, let's just move you then. I was going to play the creative AI and try and cycle stuff out. Ooh, Art of War. If you don't play the attack in your turn, gain additional energy next turn. That's fine for us. Really good for us, in fact. So why are we upgrading powers when we already have Apotheosis upgraded? Because we play those powers out oftentimes before we draw the Apotheosis. So you want to play powers. You want to upgrade powers, right? Uh, even if you have Apotheosis in the deck. But you also want to upgrade cards that become innate, like Chill. Because upgrading those during combat accomplishes absolutely nothing for you. That's a turn one right there. Oh, that was so good. It's too early to play a bias ignition though. Well, I don't even need to play the defend here. I'll just hold it for the next sound. Uh, so I want to make sure that my double damage card is the Doom and Gloom. Mm hmm Yeah, just because that's a lot of damage to do there. Machine learning first. Do a cast after that, it's fine. That's a big hit from Regret, though. We should have now no problem with this. Wow. Definitely no problem with this combat. Look at that Echo form. This... Uh, no. I, I was about to make some predictions. Let's say. 
Uh, I am not gonna do that. Yeah. I don't need to get cocky. I don't need to tell myself that I'm in a position that I'm not necessarily already in. If you're wondering why I'm attacking so weirdly here, it's not for the kill. It was actually just to get the Pandemic incremented as much as I could. Amplify, I mean, because we have a creative AI, Amplify is always useful. But it's Echo Form. Amplify is even useful in the first hand because of the Enchiridion. Oh my god. But it still has to be Echo Form. Echo Form does it for defensive cards as well. It's it's uh, it's difficult to argue. Oh, Fusion Hammer, you can only smith rest sites. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> like I give a toss. Ooh, just was about to swear there, but uh, no, we're uh, a bit clean these days. Um. Sure. I mean, if I echo for my self repair, then I'm fully defended anyway. Well, fully defended, fully healed. I can double chill. I mean, it's the only defense in my hand, and I only get to any reasonable defense by using double chill, so I kind of don't really have too much of a choice there. Hey, double self repair, and then I get to play the Doom and Gloom. It's exactly what I wanted from that hand. Yep. As long as I manage to kill next turn, or at the very least before I get the regrets. Speaking of, hello, regret. I was going to be in a good position, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. I still, I still full heal after the combat. It's okay. Deck's not thick enough to use an aggregate, and the rest of those don't fit at all. Auto shields is invalidated on turn one here. Rough stuff. Auto shields is getting invalidated a lot of ways right now. I'm not super pleased about it. Uh, I'm going to throw the regret and the burn with the gamblers. I can't afford to play Echo Form here. It's too much. Yeah, especially when I'm just going to be going for lethal the turn after. Explosive Potion as well as... No, 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 no. No, none of those. Thank you. Couple Fire Spirits. Ooh, okay. Give the Regret, get it out of the deck, or give the Machine Learning and get 10 max HP. Get the Regret out of the deck. It's, it's invalidating my buffer too often, and I don't want to have to definitely spend money on it at the next store. Because that locks me out of, you know, some relics that I might want to buy. And it's really important to remove that. Enemy goes for their big attack this turn. We do get a lot of defensive options here. I even get to hold the Sunder for this turn. And it's double damage. And no, the enemy's not vulnerable anymore. Never mind. Strike that and... There's a lot of powerful cards in that hand, but I really wanted to go for the damage. I am worried about playing this... Flying this boy's commission. Um, I am worried about playing it. I think we'll be okay. God, I hope we're okay. Oof. We play so much energy's worth of stuff in a single turn. What is what is with all of these bias conditions? 
I'm actually now scared. Ow, ow, ow. Leg crap. Huh? I always sit cross-legged. It's just a weird thing I do. Yeah, I don't know why I'm only getting biased cognition, sir. Well, as soon as I say that, obviously, I get something that's not a biased cognition, but that's the enemy dead. Focus potion. Yes, that's so powerful. Yeah. Ooh. No, recursion's not pre-up. Recursion's not pre-upgraded, but I have an apotheosis in the deck. I have a very high cost card. But I don't have that much draw, and I do have a bunch of energy. I don't think I actually want the recursion here. I mean, you know, it's a really good pass. I guess I'll take it. Uh, you know, just casually might take that. I don't know. You know, it's whatever, you know? That is probably extremely the biggest thing that happens <clears throat> to us, us this run. Like, it, it, that is so fundamental. I'll hold on to the ball lightning and get my extra energy next turn. Like, I can play it this turn, saving me an energy, or I can just hold it for next turn, saving me an energy. So I'm fine either way. Buffer, like, I literally cannot defend against this incoming attack, so there's no reason not to play buffer. Some more capacity is being met. Ooh. That's a really good draw to for us as well. Ah, uh, this... Yes, this has been a very kind combat for us. Sweet. Storm echo form. Uh, I guess I go auto shield, beam, sunder for 96 damage. Uh, ornamental fan every time you play three attacks in a single turn, game four block, as well as energy potion. That energy potion is actually looking real fine right now. The ability to get out like an echo form that I otherwise would not have been able to play is probably better than the plated armor. And when I say probably, I mean definitely. And when I say definitely, I mean... Probably, but as I've previously said, probably means definitely. A power potion would be more impressive if I didn't already have a billion power potions in my entire deck. The Thunderstrike there obviously was really good, but couldn't afford it, so whatever. Or Calcum, if you end your turn with out block, gain six block. I'm not gonna go, oh, are you kidding me? It's Ascension 19, I just wanna wrap up this. Like, it, once the Ascensions, once all of the 20 Ascensions are done, then we can start talking about going for the heart, but I don't want to screw up this run because I'm trying to go for a heart instead. Right? Let me do these in the right order. Sucks to lose buffer there. Oh, I should have double played those defense at the very start. It would have increased my damage. So 40 out going here. I do I do have defense this turn. Yep, that's our fully defended character. I want to loop so that I can start getting that Dark Orb built up. Ooh, that's two Echo Forms in the same hand. <gasps> no! You suck, video game. I can't play either of them. Because they'll lose my buffer, and a buffer is what I'm preventing the incoming damage here with. You slimy. You and I are still cool, but we're not as cool as we were before. Video game. Ugh. Who even plays video games these days? Sweet. Sweet. 
Auto shields is already ruined. Well, heat sinks actually <laughs> generates lightning orbs. It's a, it's a full body defense right there. Actually doing really okay, despite the ridiculous, let's be real, amount of damage that we are faced with at all times here. Duvidol, for each your next start each combat with one strength. That's two strength for us currently. Fission, that will help us set everything up on turn one, unless that's the time eater, in which case it's going to put us in a really bad position uh, with way too many cards and way too many energy, uh, way too many cards and way too many energy, uh, and not really being able to take too much advantage of it, unfortunately. It's exactly what I was checking for, whether or not that was going to be the time eater, and it was. There's literally no other way to play that turn, so I'm just going to autopilot that turn if you don't mind. Defend. Defend. Creative AI buffer? Yeah, I get the buffer afterwards. Perfect. It's what I suspected would have happened, but I wouldn't have been surprised if some wonkiness went on. I'd love to play auto shields, but I obviously don't want to double copy auto shields. Oh, no, 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 I want to double play the echo form, but do I? Yeah, I'll use the energy potion in this combat. Because now I can double up on Glacier and Equilibrium and even Beam Cell if I want to, and I don't. I don't want to take a, or deal damage this turn, or attack this turn rather, because of the Yard of War. I mean, like, I'm feeling pretty well defended now. <laughs> now I just need to find a way to deal damage. Sweet. That'll have to do. And we're going to go for another elite because, um, absolutely cuckoo for coconuts. Coco Puffs? It's Coco Puffs. I'm not familiar with American ads. Except for, like, the place that they have in media being referenced in almost all pop culture. It's a unique position to be in, Americans, if you're, uh, if you're unfamiliar with the, the fact that that is something that is occurring for you. There are a lot of references in, especially like American comedy and oftentimes American comedy films, I just don't get. <laughs> and I only get them if I do from references from other American comedy things. I've never interacted with the original. Frag makes a lot of sense here. Bias cognition, yeah, it's really important to play that early. Don't even end up taking damage this turn. Beautiful. So these evoke for 11, so the possibility of killing the dagger is already here. Got him! Sick. Uh, I can't defend for more than the incoming, so I'm just definitely blocking both of those with my face right now. We'll go Echo Form Capacitor then. Like, there's nothing I can do except, like, beam cell with fire. Okay, what's my best play? 
beam cell with the steroid potion is 10, 10, 15. So if I double played that against the dagger in the back line, that would kill them. And then I have a one in four for this lightning to kill the other dagger. Or I can safe play it, kill the frontline dagger myself. And then 32, 25, 18. So 32, 25, 18 is 50, 25, 75. I'm dead. I, I have to take the risk. This sucks. Great card to draw, great card to draw, great card to draw, great card to draw. Uh, fine, 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 fine. Garbage. Garbage. This was an awful, awful draw for this fight. Just objectively not lucky. Well... I don't really get too many ways to play this turn. 1 in 25. 1 in 25. 1 in... Uh... Ooh! Yeah, no, I already had the... I already had the capacitor orbs up, so... Lame! That was, that was really unfortunate. Extremely unlucky. And I'm actually pretty salty about that one. I... Definitely didn't need to go for the extra elite at the very end, but we needed to get so unlucky for that to punish us. Consider how easily we dispatched every other elite, even the one that we were unprepared against, which was the giant head. I felt like we were going to be fine against the Reptomancer, not the giant head, though. And we did totally fine against the giant head. That was awful. That should have won. I'm actually not okay with that. <laughs> it's because I didn't learn a lesson there. I learned don't draw the worst half of your deck exclusively first. I would have upgraded the chill had I not uh, gotten the... Had I not gotten the... It's called again. Uh, had I not gotten the fusion hammer, the chill would have already been upgraded that floor. Which would have been pretty good for that fight. It would have saved us for that turn. I don't know if it would have saved us overall. Wow. That was... I'm actually salty on behalf of that one. I don't like being salty on camera. But... That was... Some BS. For the moment... My name is Ben Rhapsody, the name of the game is Ben Slay the Spire. Occasionally that happens. Hey, you experience the high sides of variances and you experience the low sides of them. And we managed to do both in this run. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.